Date, March 25th, six days since first contact. I'm still monitoring the project closely. I had the same dream last night. The structure has reappeared. Some data was wiped from the log. I'm still coping. It would appear that my security blanket, as I call it, is no longer secure. After the disappearance of my papers, my report, and my computer files, my phone became the only incorruptible information storage device that I could rely on. It would appear that I was wrong. I have begun to film myself sleeping to see if the anomaly is causing these dreams. Date, March 26th. The sickness has spread and I assume the worst. The anomaly has affected me physically. I had the dream again. As of today, it has been one week since first contact. So I'm officially categorizing this as a symptom. Due to this, I will share the events of the dream again, as the original description was lost with my other data. I'm in a field. Empty. Except for the tall grass and a black structure in the distance. I walk towards the structure for no reason I can understand, for about five whole minutes. Its shape comes into view and I'm suddenly filled with determination, as if the only thing that matters in life is getting to the structure. I finally see what is an obelisk. I'm so close, I can almost taste it, and then it happens. An invisible wall blocks my path. I run around it and I try jumping over it, running through it, but nothing works. I'm so close to the obelisk, I can almost taste it. I bash my body into the wall over and over. And I break through. My ears ring and my vision blurs. I can't bear stand, so I crawl. The sky darkens and the grass dies. I feel my nails fall off as they scratch at the earth. Then my fingers, legs, arms. My whole body fades away, and I'm nothing more than a consciousness. And then I wake up. I can't come in today. Uh, I know. I know! Then just do it. But be careful! The specimen is very delicate. Yes, it, it is officially classified. I'm doing further research. Nightmares, nausea, other physical symptoms. I'm fine. I'll, I'll be busy then, too. I know, I know, I just need a little time. I'm... I'm not sure.
I've stopped counting the days since last contact. Second contact has occurred. I no longer know the date either. The anomaly seems to have control over my technology. The date and time, as well as other data, has been garbled and made unusable. My phone's battery life has been drastically reduced and my work phone is unusable. I cannot afford to leave my home. I fear the worst. Creatures in my house. I'm convinced it's watching over me with a purpose in mind. It absconded with my cat, and I now have a growth on my abdomen about the size of a golf ball. It definitely has to do with this creature. I theorize that its biological makeup may include a substance that is radioactive to humans. It could have something to do with a cloaking mechanism, or teleportation, or even technology disruption. Which would explain why in my videos it appears from seemingly nowhere. It seems to use doors as portals. My growth erupted today. It has healed surprisingly fast, and I think I can remove the bandages tomorrow. I've been having the dream every night. I can now confirm without a doubt its connection with the anomaly. On a lighter note, my work phone has returned to a usable state, so I can make business calls from home and won't have to leave the site of my experiment. I can't leave my home. I am not- I am not insane! My safety isn't a main concern. The Bureau wants results. It has. My previous data no longer matters. Because my footage from the last few days is more proof of an anomaly than all of the data in my life put together. It's been how long? I know you're scared. But we're not people. Not anymore. We're cannon fodder. We're a series of letters and numbers. We don't matter. We don't matter to them. No, of course you matter to me. Hello? Do matter to me. had the dream once again, but this time there was an additional detail. I found a plot of dirt. I dug into this dirt and a bright light encompassed me. Could not see what was hidden, but I had a feeling of dread. 
as if the weight of the world was put on my shoulders. I went outside to clear my head. I went to my backyard, and as I looked ahead to the horizon, I saw in my own yard a plot of dirt. And so I dug, and I found a file. This file contains all of my records, data, and notes about the anomaly, which is called X1M1. This is my official report that went missing several days ago. It contained valuable information on my studies. In addition, it contained one miniature composition book. Within this book lie several disturbing drawings of obelisks and other Egyptian symbols. Several disturbing images, including one of the very monster that plagues my nightmares and now my reality and a message I believe it says truth the irony is easy to grasp in light of this new revelation I can say with certainty that for the first time in my life, I do not know what to do.